uh, organizing committee for this uh, success such brilliant uh, uh, conference. Um, Dr. Rabi, I'm working, I've been working in Saudi Arabia, uh, Riyadh, in uh, one center since five years. We started from zero and we initiated our program. Now our program is shifted to be one of the high volume center, um, more than 40 uh, cases per year, transporting uh, patient uh, uh, between hospitals for 53 uh, cases right now. Uh, I would like to take this uh, opportunity to also congratulate Dr. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Azam. He is um, our leader of uh, ECMO in Saudi Arabia and the president of uh, the, the ECLS chapter in Saudi Critical Care. And Dr. Hyde as well uh, is our program director, provide us with a lot of support to get this achievement. And our team, Dr. Wael and Mr. Um, Ismail. My talk today for the improving outcome, um, and I think all of us know what, what, uh, what we should do to improve the outcome, but I will go through also uh, um, uh, the steps that we take to uh, provide the service in our center. So uh, first, this is my disclosure, and um, I will go through first the challenge in handling uh, an ECMO patient. Uh, first, the high complexity of uh, the intervention and uh, involve multidisciplinary uh, team with low volume uh, patient and requiring high scaled uh, dedicated staff. Um, the challenge of creating an ECMO center also is the staff, currency, nursing, and the medical initial experience, maintenance of skills, staff turnover and the funding and uh, which will be the infrequent uh, events and uh, appropriate infrastructure, laboratory perfusion, surgical support, compatible ambulance and uh, aircraft. And then the multidisciplinary uh, support. So um, how to improve uh, ECMO outcome? Uh, first, I will go through centralization with a uh, high or low volume center and how we behave in Saudi Arabia. Then a better organizing uh, character from creating an ECMO or uh, team or a better planning or positive attitude, especially with our prolonged ECMO cases. Um, better education uh, program and dedicated lecture, lectures, simulation cases, training lab, uh, conducting scientific events. Then the better, the better patient care, uh, which uh, uh, emphasize on the protocols and the guidelines, uh, compliance, and um, the minimizing the investigation and the cost effectiveness with the medical management updates. Then eventually the quality of care uh, of maintenance. First of all, regarding decentralization, uh, uh, we know all that the evidence growing towards uh, better to have one uh, center uh, program in one city than multiple fragmented centers. Um, the advantage is a uh, larger volume, better outcome, minimum administrative uh, uh, barriers, cost effective, minimum distraction, and better infrastructure. And here is some of the evidence that supporting uh, that, especially the ELSO guidelines and the NHS uh, guidelines, going through the uh, H1N1 experience in both UK and uh, French experience. Uh, in the French experience, 35 ECMO centers with no significant difference between ECMO and the non-ECMO patient, while the UK between survival. So I will go to, through the UK model in brief, uh, the, the supporting uh, the surface with uh, five centers distributed uh, around the region uh, of the country. Uh, each center care are around for 20 to 40 patients. Centers are responsible for finding a bed if they have no capacity. Uh, teleconference between the centers and the NHS uh, involved uh, closely. And this is the distribution of the centers and the area of coverage. So all these center meeting twice each year, quality metric presented, friendship and networking, sharing of experience, research and uh, development. Uh, the Australian experience as well, um, 16 uh, centers, despite the uh, uh, geographical large uh, volume and 
the transportation and the population distribution in the urban area more than 90 percentages, but uh, in the H1 experience, survival is 75 uh, percentage. So it looks like the reality, reality country uh, going with materialization and organization. That's why in Saudi Arabia, uh, during the time of uh, first outbreak for the mers in 2013, that necessitated the ministry to provide multidisciplinary approach system from publishing national guidelines, strict compliance, auditing and supervising system, and corona, uh, continuous education and prevention control, a strict algorithm for the suspected cases to catch it uh, earlier uh, before entering the, even to the hospital. And then the ECMO rule in uh, MERS-CoV uh, by MOH, the published evidence, all the published evidence in H1 and 1 era guided the uh, ministry uh, to uh, the importance of utilizing ECMO to fight the upcoming uh, outbreak of MERS-CoV. Uh, they published the national guidelines involving ECMO guidelines and transportation as well. Then organizing um, three centers covering five regions all over the country. Um, our country, our center is in the middle, covering the central and south region. And in eastern region, there is a um, center and uh, the western and north region covering And uh, also an ECMO for ECMO service, and direct communication through the command and the control center and the CC 937 hotline. And outcome um, for since the last year, we do not have any more MERS CoV outbreaks and the survival of 65 uh, percentage. Um, and now we are ready for the novel coronavirus with the same uh, system. Um, no any cases that detected in the Saudi Arabia right now. Then the second uh, part uh, is um, the better organization, uh, organizational culture uh, created a dedicated ECMO team from physician, nurse, perfectionist, and RT. Uh, when we start our program since uh, uh, January 2015, we start with an institutional commitment for three months. Then we recruited the perfectionist, then uh, we uh, developed our uh, training uh, program, then the protocol, our first ECMO patient was survived, was mers patient, but at that time we did not uh, uh, build a structure dedicated ECMO team. So in 2016 we, we, uh, we supported six cases, only one survival, then at 2017 we start again to uh, replanning ourselves and we uh, first we start with a dedicated ECMO uh, team assignment, then uh, create an ECMO structure, uh, better planning and the positive attitude. With During July 2017 we started our ECMO transportation service um, uh, and then the same year we supported 17 cases with survival was 56 percentage. Then in 2018, we concentrate more with the training uh, uh, for the team and we conduct the first Saudi ECMO conference uh, with the running orientation courses and regular workshops. Uh, during 2018, we supported 32 cases and uh, we survival was a 64 percentage. The third part that I will go through is the continuous education and the training in ECMO. We utilize the Miller uh, Triangle for a uh, um, uh, way for the expertise. We start with the knowledge, uh, encouraged reading, didactic lecture about ECMO, physiology, criteria, and component. Then uh, competence, uh, know-how by ECMO training uh, course and the high ability simulate, simulators. Then the performance show how to do uh, through the water trail and the training lab, then the action at the end. Um, the better patient care is summarize the evidence for the to create the policy, especially the ELSO uh, guidelines. Uh, then, uh, then we review and uh, 
changing our protocols, uh, emphasize on the ECLS candidacy and the patient better patient selection decision uh, to activate the ECLS team and deployment, location of cannulation and activation algorithm, then uh, the supply and the equipment, uh, eventually the pharmacy and the blood uh, bank. Then we go through the identifying the local barriers to implementing uh, these changes. In ECLS, particularly main criticism of quality improvement projects are lack of evidence based guidelines and concern that such a project will, now, will not ultimately improve the patient outcome. So it's a challenge all the time. We kept discussion, discussion, discussion into identifying this and addressing these barriers. Um, then also we go through improving the medical management to utilize the hybrid uh, VA, VA patient, uh, CPR, six cases, two out of hospital and four decannulated. One on like three cases with two out of hospital discharge, procedure and surgical intervention, and eventually the walking on ECMO and the early mobilization. And I would like to thank our team regarding the lead job in this part. <laughs>
8.9 and our next course hopefully we get the endorsement from Elso and uh, then don't miss the SWAC Elso 2021 conference 20 um, the 23 of February in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Hope you enjoy it um, and thank you.